His neighbors can now say they know a guy who knows how to fight when faced with danger. Atlanta police say Sean Cannon helped stop not one, but two suspected burglars in his Midtown neighborhood. Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz tells us how Cannon sprung into action to keep himself and neighbors out of harm's way. People started giving me nicknames at work. Daredevil, Piedmont Park, Sean Claude Van Dam. Sean Cannon earned quite the reputation. He's a mechanical engineer by day and a jujitsu fighter in his spare time. Police say this friendly Midtown neighbor has now helped put two suspected criminals behind bars. All of my neighbors have been <laughs> in agreement that they like having me in the neighborhood. And I put two hooks in to control her legs. And I put my hands on both of her wrists. Three weeks ago, we first introduced you to Sean. As police say he tackled like a burglar right? to the floor yeah, as she right tried there. to steal items in the sunroom and pinned the suspect until officers showed up to arrest her. But the criminals in Midtown haven't slowed down. And on the morning of the 22nd, Sean's girlfriend got another surprise. Hope Kepley told police she thought the stranger on the porch, who police identified as Robert Howard, was snooping around for spare keys. A man taking our plants down and looking through our plants. I asked him, what are you doing? I told him to get out, banged on the door to get Sean. Up that way. Up you could say Sean then went into hero mode. Yeah, I hopped in my truck. And I started driving around the neighborhood and looking for the guy. Sean spotted the man, called 911, and stayed on the phone with them. I was like, well, I got to keep following him or else he's going to get away. So he was trying to cut through yards and uh, get away from me. Ten minutes later, officers showed up, cornered and arrested Howard, and charged him with prowling and a drug-related charge for having a crack pipe. I feel safer, yeah, my own hero. We love this part of town and part of living in a city, I suppose. Despite the recent run-ins, Sean and Hope say they still love living in Midtown. Police generally advise people against trying to go after suspects, and even this trained martial arts fighter says he doesn't always recommend it either. I think everybody in Midtown should start taking self-defense courses and jujitsu and, and train themselves. If somebody comes at you, you need to be able to defend yourself. In Midtown Atlanta, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News.